so look at this chicken pot pie right here you guys it's very very good okay i have used only seven dollars worth of ingredients um it's a very cheap meal you can make this for the whole family it lasted for about two days uh for two people um it costs seven dollars like i said and it is delicious people will keep coming back for more and you see how the uh bread that i have on there is real toasty and like crispy um, and then you have your slurry mixture of like your chicken pot pie flavoring. So let's go ahead and get cooking. This is a dish for the record books, folks. Okay, and to get started, we got a bottle of wood for reserve, one of my all-time favorites. If I don't have any wine, I have a little glass of Woodford. So you want a pack of chicken breast. You do not need all of that chicken breast, okay? Just a little bit, and your flour, and then your butter graham biscuits. I'd use honey butter. You can use one of those. Just make sure it's the flaky layers butter biscuits that come in the container okay and then you need your larry seasoning one can of whole corn one can of green beans a little bit of garlic and of course your chicken bouillon which i like the powder version and a can of sweet peas now i'm only using i have three potatoes here i'm only actually going to use one and a half i need my carrots and celery uh heavy whipping cream and you do not have to use fresh vegetables if you don't want to um, you can just use regular um, vegetables from a can to save time and money. So the cans are about 50 cent a can. What I like to do is go ahead and season your vegetables. So for the corn, I'm going to season my corn and get it tasting very, very yummy with a little bit of garlic, butter, and a little bit of salt and some pepper. You want to turn that on, let it get to a boil for about two minutes, no longer than about two to three minutes with a little bit of chicken bouillon so that it can get some flavoring to it. Um, that's just to flavor your vegetables. And again, you can just put all your vegetables in there and do that at once. Now let's go ahead and peel this potato. A secret to peeling a potato, if you don't have a potato peeler, is take the back of a spoon, similar like so, and you can peel a potato like this in about one to two minutes with the back of a spoon okay so you just kind of hold it and kind of like uh scrape off the outer layer of the potato you can also oh also i forgot to tell you if you see a potato that has any type of green in it like this this color green do not eat it it is very dangerous make sure you get rid of any greenness on a potato okay so now that the corn is like cooking down very nicely we don't want to overcook it we just want it to get that good flavoring of seasoning and taste it tastes wonderful so i've taken that out and putting that put that in a bowl to chill and now i'm going to do the rest with the rest of the vegetables so because i've bought these in separate individual cans i'm going to go ahead and just season each one in an individual pot and then taste it of course taste the soupy flavor mix you're just trying to get some seasoning to those vegetables before we go ahead and cook that down so that tastes wonderful i put the green beans on top of the corn and let those set Okay, now with the peas, we'll go ahead and do the same thing for those. A little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of butter, and a little bit of chicken bouillon. We're going to let those cook down as well. And then we're going to taste it and make sure it has a nice soupy flavor taste to it. Just so we can season the vegetables once again. And then take those out and go ahead and put those in a, pan, in a, in a bowl by itself. And then we're going to put those in the freezer, okay? Now let's go ahead and get to the potatoes. 
I peeled the potatoes. You can also buy a can of potatoes that's already been peeled if you want to skip this step. And then we're going to do the same thing to the potatoes. So we want the potatoes to have a nice flavor to those. Add a little bit of Larry seasoning, a little bit of the same seasonings. You're going to do this throughout. And then a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're going to let that cook down. Now, the other thing that you want to do if you have a little time is go ahead and take your chicken breast and put that in some water and let that soak in some brine which is nothing but like salt and a little bit of the chicken bouillon and it's just going to bring a nice flavor to flavor the chicken breast throughout before we get ready to kind of like boil the chicken and put it into our chicken pot pie so i just give that a nice stare and that's pretty much ready to go okay and another little quick thing I like to do is take a fork and then go ahead and poke your chicken or your meat so that the flavoring can get inside of the meat. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for my carrots. Again, I'm taking the long way of making this dish. You can do this with one bag of frozen vegetables, I promise, and not take all this time. But here is the chicken. I've taken that out and strained it. And then I have some onions that are ready to go along with one celery stalk. Now I'm using coconut oil, okay? And I go ahead and shake a little bit more seasoning onto my chicken. You don't have to do this. It will still taste very, very good. And then now that the coconut oil has kind of seared, uh, gotten hot, I'm gonna throw in the onions and let those cook down a little bit till they're like translucent. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of the celery. So we're gonna add a little bit of that in there and I promise you, it's not gonna be overpowering. Celery is like that secret taste that makes it taste a little bit more rich and more of an adult flavor, but it tastes so, so good. So just only half a stalk to one stalk of celery. Now that our chicken is ready to go in, I put the chicken in along with the celery and the onion mixture and i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water to that once it cooks down a little bit and here is one cup of water okay and now two cups of water and then we're going to add a third cup of water and now we're going to flavor our water now this is really kind of making like a chicken soup and that's what it's going to taste like it's going to taste really good so for three cups of water we're going to add about a tablespoon of chicken bouillon but i added one extra because i like the flavoring and then we're going to add a little bit of heavy whipping cream this is going to give it that rich rich flavor now let's go over here and get ready to add our slurry mixture which is pretty much either the flour you can use flour or you can use um you can use cornstarch as well. So I use about two tablespoons of that. I sprinkle in a little bit of Larry seasoning in there. Go ahead and give it a nice blend. This is gonna make it non-clumpy and very, very good. So I've already put the blend on that. Now that our soup is kind of boiling, now let's go ahead and pour in that gravy mixture, okay? And bring it back up to a boil. And when you taste it, it's going to taste freaking amazing. So this whole mixture right here tastes like some like a gravy chicken soup that is just so, so delicious. Um, so we're going to just mix that a little bit and let that get a good flavoring to it. Now let's go ahead and butter in our dishes. And now let's pop the biscuits. And you see these biscuits of flaky layers. I like those because you can peel those off. And then I just go back to the mixture. Now let it spool down a bit and give it a taste. It tastes absolutely wonderful, okay? Now it's time to go ahead and add in the chicken mixture. I like to add in the chicken mixture on top of the biscuits that I've layered at the bottom first so I can make sure that there's plenty enough chicken in your chicken pot pie dish. So now that I have that layered on the bottom, I'm gonna do the same thing to my other pot, okay? And I'm only use a little bit of chicken. You can buy like a $3 pack of chicken breast. You don't need a lot. Okay, and now the vegetables, I've taken those out of the freezer. Remember I told you to put those in the freezer and I'm just dumping all of those mixtures back into the slurry mixture right there. Okay, now I have mixed that in and I promise you, you can eat this out of the pot like a soup. It is so freaking good. Okay, so that's ready to go. Now let's go ahead and start layering our pan with the rest of our chicken pot pie mixture, which is superb. I'm telling you, like, this was gone. Like, babe was like, what, what just happened? 
Okay, so let's layer that in our dishes. And then we will take another layer of your Grand's Biscuits and put that in the middle. If you like like a chicken and dumplings kind of taste in the middle, if you want some dough in the middle, I think it brings more texture to the meal. So I like to really like layer it with uh, the biscuits, with uh, the mixture and biscuits all the way up to the top. So once I get to the top, I start to take the biscuit mixture and stretch it out over top of the pan. So you see how I'm like layering that on top and alternating each side. I promise you, it's so good. You can take this to work. You can put it in the kids' lunches. It is seven to ten dollars to make this, and it lasts for like two days. So um, now you see how I have spread the bread biscuits over top. I set the oven for 450, put them in for about 10 minutes. You want to watch this. And then the rest of the biscuits, I take those that's left over. Like I said, you only need one can of biscuits. Okay, voila. Now look at how beautifully crisp those are. Um, your oven may require a little bit longer time, maybe 15 minutes. Just watch it and see how you would like it to come out. Like how crispy do you want your top layer to be? But I promise you, this just is a winner and it will be one for the books okay and the kids will love you and it will last for quite a while everybody will be up at night trying to get some more of this so um yeah that's the way you make a quick chicken pot pie without all of the frills okay very very delicious meal and please remember to keep watching my channel and um, don't forget to donate to upinclothing.com. And I hope to see you again on the very next episode of Cooking with Coco.